Transmission Impairments Terminology Transmission impairment occurs when the received signal is different from the transmitted signal. As we know, a signal can be transmitted as analog signal or it can be transmitted as a digital signal. In analog signals due to transmission impairment the resulting received signal gets different amplitude or the shape. Jitter Another performance issue that is related to delay is jitter. Jitter is defined as a variation in the delay of received packets, see figure 5. The sending side transmits packets in a continuous stream and spaces them evenly apart. Because of network congestion, improper queuing, or configuration errors, the delay between packets can vary instead of remaining constant. Echoes and singing. Sound is a waveform made from vibrating matter. Echo is defined as the repetition of a waveform. Echo in the context of telecom applications is the reflected sound of your own voice reverberating in the telephone receiver while you are talking. If the echo's amplitude is low, it goes unnoticed and is not problematic in the conversation. However, if the echo interval exceeds approximately 25 milliseconds, MS, it becomes audible to the speaker. Crosstalk In communication, crosstalk is any phenomenon by which a signal transmitted on one circuit or channel of a transmission system creates an undesired effect in another circuit or channel. Crosstalk is usually caused by undesired capacitive, inductive, or conductive coupling from one circuit or channel to another. Crosstalk is a significant issue in structured cabling, audio electronics, integrated circuit design, wireless communication and other communication systems. Distortion Distortion means that the signal changes its form or shape. Distortion can occur in a composite signal made of different frequencies. Each signal component has its own propagation speed, see the next section, through a medium and, therefore, its own delay in arriving at the final destination. Differences in delay may create a difference in phase if the delay is not exactly the same as the period duration. In other words, signal components at the receiver have phases different from what they had at the sender. Noise. Noise is another cause of impairment. Several types of noise, such as thermal noise, induced noise, crosstalk, and impulse noise, may corrupt the signal. Thermal noise is the random motion of electrons in a wire, which creates an extra signal not originally sent by the transmitter. Induced noise comes from sources such as motors and appliances. These devices act as a sending antenna, and the transmission medium acts as the receiving antenna. Bandwidth One characteristic that measures network performance is bandwidth. However, the term can be used in two different contexts, with two different measuring values, bandwidth in hertz and bandwidth in bits per second. Number of receivers A receiver is a hardware module or device used to receive signals of different kinds, depending on the context of the application. It may receive analog electromagnetic signals or waves or digital signals through wired media. The term receiver, however, is mostly used in communication, specifically wireless communication in terms of networking and cellular communication. It is the device that receives and decodes signals and then conditions or transforms them into something that another machine or computer understands.
network connecting devices slash components. The individual LANs are connected to the backbone network by using some types of devices such as hubs, repeaters, switches, bridges, routers, and gateways. Hub. A hub is the connection point in a computer device where data from many directions converge and are then sent out in many directions to respective devices. A hub may also act as a switch by preventing specific data packets from proceeding to a destination. Switch. A switch is an intelligent device that works in the data link layer. The term intelligent refers to the decision making capacity of the switch. Since it works in the data link layer, it has knowledge of the MAC addresses of the ports in the network. Modem. Modem is a device that enables a computer to send or receive data over telephone or cable lines. The data stored on the computer is digital, whereas a telephone line or cable wire can transmit only analog data. The main function of the modem is to convert digital signal into analog and vice versa. Modem is a combination of two devices minus modulator and demodulator. The modulator converts digital data into analog data when the data is being sent by the computer. The demodulator converts analog data signals into digital data when it is being received by the computer. Repeater a repeater is a device similar to the hub but has additional features. It also works in the physical layer. The repeaters are used in places where the amplification of the input signals is necessary. Bridge. A bridge is a networking device that works in both the physical and data link layer in a network. This device can divide a large network into smaller segments. Router. A router is a device that connects two or more packet switch networks or subnetworks. It serves two primary functions, managing traffic between these networks by forwarding data packets to their intended IP addresses, and allowing multiple devices to use the same internet connection. Network Interface Card, NIC A Network Interface Card, NIC, is a hardware component without which a computer cannot be connected over a network. It is a circuit board installed in a computer that provides a dedicated network connection to the computer. It is also called Network Interface Controller, Network Adapter, or LAN Adapter. 